That's the Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. And it's almost Halloween, so here is the cutest jack o' lantern trick or treat bag in the world. And it's really easy, simple stitches, and it's fun. I'm going to show you glow in the dark yarn today, too. And it's a Lion Brand glow in the dark yarn, and then any other yarn that you want. So let's get started. Now I'm using Crafter Secret Cotton. You can use anything that you want here and its corresponding hook. I'm using this and a 5mm hook for the bag. And then when I get to the glow in the dark, you want to have a 4 millimeter available. So your glow in the dark part will be in a little while. That's why I'm going to show you this part as quickly as I can because this is so easy. The hard part, if there is a hard part, is his face. So where we start is on the back. We're going to do the back and we're going to work in one big long strip and then fold it over like that. You need about 300 yards or so of your main color here and then one skein of this little glow in the dark yarn this is Lion Brand DIY glow one skein of that will take you through probably three bags because I still have all this left so we start the back top at the top of the bag but it's on the back side this is a chain of 52 I'm going to chain 12 so we can do a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, there's my little chain of twelve. Remember, if you're doing this one, 52 made a bag of this size. You could make it anything you want, as long as it is an even number. So now we're going to single crochet in these back bumps. So turn your chain over, and with my five millimeter hook. I'm going to single crochet each one of these little back bumps. So what you would end up with for the whole bag is 51 single crochets. But since this is so simple, I'm just going to show you a little bit like I've done on other things before. Because you're going to catch the drift really quick. It's really simple. And here is my last single crochet in row one. There we go. Just worked in those little back bumps. Yours would be 52 chains and 51 single crochets. I have 11 here. So round two, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet all the way down one more time. One. And there's my last one at the very end. And there is number 11. So I'm going to change over to the orange one so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So right here, two rows of single crochet is this right here. Easy peasy. Now we're going to make the mesh. So we're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. I don't like to do it that way, but it works very nicely in here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. There's my chain four. I'm going to skip this very first spot that we just worked because that one counts right here. Skip the next one and then in that third stitch over we're going to double crochet. Chain one. Skip and double crochet. Chain one. Skip a stitch and double crochet. Chain one. Skip. Double crochet chain one, skip, and we made it to the last one. That's why you need an odd number. And double crochet again. So there we have a teeny little swatch of my mesh, but that's this whole thing right here. And the mesh right here is the next row. So we want to do that again. Always going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So there's our chain four, which counts as a double crochet and the chain one. So we're going to skip our chain space and go to the top of this double crochet right here and double crochet again. Now this probably sounds very familiar if you have done anything with the mesh from some of my other bags and hats. I'm going to do that all the way across again. It's a double crochet and a chain one. Skip the chain space and when we get to the very end we want to double crochet into our third chain. So right 
here. And a double crochet. And that's how easy peasy that is. And now for this part, you do that. There's our first two. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to do 25 rows of mesh. 25 rows of mesh. I'm going to do one more just so everybody catches what I'm doing here. Do one more. Remember the chain four, which counts as a double crochet, and the chain one. Turn your work, skip the chain space, double crochet into the top of the previous rows. Double crochet, skip the chain space, double crochet, chain one, skip the chain space all the way across until you get to 25 rows of your mesh is done. Remember to chain one at the end and now we want to double crochet into our third chain which is one, two, and three. Super easy peasy. So there you go. And you do that all the way until you have 25 mesh. And this is the back of the bag. Now we're going to do the bottom of the bag. So you can see right here we have mesh. That was row 25. Now we're going to put a few rows of single crochet to make the bottom of the bag a little bit more sturdy. So a chain one turn our work. We're going to single crochet in the top of every double crochet. Right there, one. And in every chain space. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this part is very important to remember. You want to put a single crochet in your chain space here. So there's number 10. And to keep our stitch count right, now we want to put a single crochet in our third chain. Because we want to have it be the proper number. On here it would be 51. So there we go. See I have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Just remember to do that last one before you go into the chain space so you keep your stitch count. And we'll chain one, turn our work, and do another row of single crochet. Very simple, very basic, all the way down. There's number 11, right there. Right in here is where we're working. And we're going to chain one, turn our work, do that one more time. But for this pattern, you would want to do 10 rows of single crochet all the way across. And this is making the bottom of the bag. It's a little bit more sturdy so there's not a hole straight through on the very bottom of the bag. And there we go. Boom. So here is 10 rows of single crochet for the very bottom of the bag. Now we're going to start up here a little bit more. We're going to make some more, some more mesh. So our single crochets are right in the middle, real middle of the bag which will technically be the bottom. So to start this row right here, we're going to chain four like we did before. One, two, three, four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We're going to skip this very first part, this very first stitch, because this one already counts. Skip the next and then double crochet into that third stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, and we are to the end now. 
right there. Skip a stitch and there's our very last one. So there we go. We're going to do one more of those. So now we're going to do chain four, which counts. Turn your work, skip your chain space, double crochet into the top of the previous row, double crochet. Chain one and repeat all the way across. Just like my Prada inspired bags. So I call this my Prada inspired trick or treat bag. Now we got to the end. I want to double crochet in my third chain. So find your third chain and double crochet. There you go. Now from here, we want a total of nine. Two rows of single crochet, 25 rows of mesh, 10 rows of single crochet. Now we just did this one and this one. So we want a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A total of nine before we get to making the face. So there you go. Mesh, bottom, more mesh. So now I'm going to move to the orange one because that one is in the works and I need to have it done here very soon for Halloween. There's the back, there's the bottom, and now we're working on the front. All right, so what we want to do now that we have our bottom and then the next nine rows, we want to find the center nine mesh squares. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I mark those off. I'm going to be working in these now to make this triangle. I'm going to fasten on in the mesh square right here. And I want to put two single crochets in that chain space and also do that in the next three. So the total of these first four chain spaces will have two double crochets each. One, two. Here's my third one. One, two. And there's the fourth one. One and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the next square, I want to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. And in order to keep his nose symmetrical, the next four chain spaces will get two single crochets each. One, two, three, four. Six and seven and eight. And this is a total of 19 single crochets. We want another row of 19. So we're going to chain one and turn our work and single crochet in every stitch. One, two, three. There's number 18 and number 19. All right, so there's our other 19. That was our second pass of 19. Now we're turn our work, but don't chain. I'm just gonna go into this very first one and slip stitch. Slip stitch one, and slip stitch the second one. Chain one, so that we can work our next row. And now we want to single crochet 15, starting in that next stitch, one, Two just single crochets of total of 15 and 15. Two unworked on this end and the two slip stitches on this side and 15 in the middle. I want to chain one and turn our work. We're going to do the second pass of 15 single crochets. One and 14 and 15 and that brings us back up to our slip stitches. So when we get to the slip stitch side, we want to slip stitch for the next one. So we did two rows of 19, two rows of 15. We are going to turn our work again. No chain. Let's go into the first stitch with the slip stitch and into the second one with the slip stitch. 
chain one so we can do our next row and the next row is a total of 11. So in the next stitch we're going to start 11 single crochets across. There's two, three, there's ten, and eleven. Two unworked at this end. The next pass of eleven, we're going to chain one, turn our work again, and eleven single crochets. One, two, and there's ten, and eleven. And this is the side that has our slip stitches. Turn our work again, no chaining when we do when we do the slip stitches. So just go into our first stitch and slip stitch. Go into the second and slip stitch. And then chain one so we can work our next grouping of single crochets, which will be seven. One, two, three, four. and seven, two one worked on this side. Chain one, turn your work again, and do your second pass of seven single crochets. Six and seven. And now we're back to our slip stitch area. So we want to turn our work one more time. And like we did with all the other runs, do not chain. Go into the first stitch and slip stitch. Go into the second stitch and slip stitch. And chain one so we can do our last little section, which will be three single crochets. One, two, and three. You see there's two unworked. Chain one, turn your work one more time. And single crochet those three again. One, two, and three. And now your little nose is done. Right here. See how easy that is? And we can finish off this. I'm just going to snip right here and pull this through. I don't want to make a knot because it might show a little bit. I don't want it to do that. So we're just going to kind of leave this dangle. You can see one, two, three. Three stitches. All right, so now we need to fill in this little bit right here on both sides of the triangle that we just made for the nose. So go back to your main bag color and chain four. We're going to do mesh just like normal. All right, so there's our chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Skip your chain space and double crochet just like the other meshes we were doing before. You should be an expert at mesh. Chain one and continue until you get to your triangle. Here's my last one right here in the orange. There we go. Double crochet, chain one. And now we are back to our triangle. So we want to make this into a square. So we're going to go into our stitch and just slip stitch. So now we made ourselves a little square. We finished that up with chain two so we can keep the height of all the other meshes while we finish this square. So what we're going to do here is a sideways double crochet. So we're going to go into our stitch right here of our triangle. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So we just made this post go sideways instead of up and down. Chain one, turn your work. And continue with making mesh squares to the end. So you jump to the next post, double crochet, chain one, all the way to the end. 
And our chain one, here's my last one, will be in the third chain, the third chain of my four chain at the very beginning. I want to do that again. Chain four, same as before, on the edges it's always a chain four. Turn our work again and do mesh until you get to the triangle. Here we go, double crochet, chain one. And now we want to go into the same stitch that we slip stitched into and double crochet. Chain one. Now we have to make this to make this little square. So we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here again. So now we made our little square. Chain two to keep the height of the mesh and do a sideways double crochet. So we're going to do into that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we made a square and chain one and turn our work. And then we work out to the edge again with normal mesh. And here's the last one in a post. And the chain one and the last one over here is in my third chain of my chain four. And we've almost got this side fixed. So we got almost have that filled in, so we're going to chain four, just like all the other times, turn our work, and work back to our triangle. All right, we're back to our triangle again, so we are going to double crochet into the same stitch that we slip stitched into. So double crochet, chain one, and now we need to slip stitch to connect and make our last little square. Slip stitch into our triangle. So we just filled in this little spot right over here. So is isn't that simple. And we're going to finish this off. So we need to do the other side. And I would suggest just pulling this through like we did with the white one so the knots don't show. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Alright, so we're going to just fasten on right here and do the other side almost exactly the same way. Just fasten on and chain one and jump over to this post right here and double crochet. Chain one, skip your chain space, double crochet. And there's a chain one and we get to the end we want to double crochet into our third chain of our chain four just like the other side. So now fill in this side exactly like you did the other side it's just a chain four. Turn your work and continue until you have to connect to your nose and I'll meet you when I'm done with this fill in part. Alright we're getting close to the top so here is my double crochet, a chain one, I want to slip stitch over here, chain two, and do our last little sideways double crochet into the stitch, and then chain one and turn our work so we can work all the way back out to the edge one more time. And we'll just continue our mesh out to the edge. And there's my last double crochet here, chain one, and then double crochet into our third chain. Alrighty, so we filled in both sides. So now you can see right here in between the nose area and the eyes area, there's one row of mesh like normal. And since we started over here, we ended on the side, it's the exact same thing as it was before. Chain four, turn your work, 
and do one row of mesh all the way down. Alrighty, and we made it back to the top of the nose. Right here, we're going to chain one and double crochet into that same place where we did our slip stitch and our, or our sideways. Do that same stitch right here, chain one, and then do that on the other side into the third stitch of your nose. There you go. Chain one and continue all the way to the end. There's my last double crochet into a post, and now I want to double crochet into my third chain. And now we'll double crochet into that third chain, just like we did before. Pull your yarn up, drop it for now, because now we're going to work on these eyes, which is exactly the same as the nose. Exactly the same as the nose. I'm just going to put two of them in and we have to get our spacing done properly. So you can see here, we're going to count in two from the sides and that's where we're going to start our, start our work and count in from two from the sides and start our work and it's exactly the same as the triangle for the nose. I marked everything off here. You're going to mark in two from this side and two from this side and these three in the center will not be worked. So what you are going to be working is these nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that are in between our stitch markers exactly the same way that we did the nose. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but do both eyes before we fill in the mesh. So I'm going to do these eyes, and they're exactly the same as the nose. So I'm just going to start in this mesh square right here. Remember, there's going to be nine of them and show you again with we'll fasten on and do two single crochets in the first four mesh uh, chain spaces. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and here's my fourth chain space, seven, eight. Now in the center one we want three single crochets, one, two, three, and in the next four we want two single crochets in each chain space. One, and there's two, and there's the third, and here's the fourth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there, and you'll have the exact same thing on the other side. So remember for each row of this, or since we're doing single crochets, we're doing two rows of the count, stitch count, to equal one double crochet row. Because it's a shorter stitch, so we have to do two. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and single crochet those same 19 over again. And there's number 19. So that was our second row of 19. We return our work and we do not chain one when we're slip stitching. So now we'll slip stitch into this first one and then slip stitch into the second one and then chain one so we can do the next grouping which is reducing on two, two stitches on each side equals 15. So we're going to do single crochet 15. There's 14 and 15, two unworked. Now here we're going to chain one, turn our work, and do the second pass of 15. One, two, all the way down to the end. And there's number 15 is done, and you can see we made it back to our slip stitches. So I'm going to turn our work again. And when we do the slip stitch, we do not chain. So we're going to go into this first stitch and slip stitch. The second stitch, slip stitch. Chain one. And now we get to reduce one more time. Reducing two on each side from 15 takes it down to 11. 11 single crochets. 10 and 11. Two unworked. Chain one, turn your work, and do those same 11 again. 
10 and 11 and we made it back to our slip stitches so that means we're going to turn our work and do slip stitches again we're going to reduce one more time so again no chain just go into the first stitch and slip stitch go into your second stitch and slip stitch and chain one and we're reducing two on each side down from 11 is now seven And there's number seven. Two one worked. Chain one, turn our work, and do those single crochet those seven one more time. Six and seven. We made it back down to our slip stitches. So we turn our work. No chain, slip stitch the first two, one and two, chain one and single crochet three, one, two, and three. One more pass, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and do those same three single crochets one more time, one, two, and three. So there's our eye. One of our eyes. So we're going to finish that off just like we did before. Don't have to do any kind of knots or anything right here. It'll all get buried. So I just snip and pull. Now I want to do the other side. So I'll meet you when I'm done with the other eye so that we can fill in this mesh right here. So I'll meet you in just a minute. Okay, I have both of my eyes done now. So now they're just little floating out here, little triangles. So now we want to fill all this in. The way you fill in the sides is exactly what you did down here. Fill in the sides. We'll fill in the middle here in a second. All right, so we just pick up our orange again because we didn't cut it off. We just I just pulled out a really long loop so that we can finish filling in this little side right here. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, just like always, just like we had before. Skip the first chain space, double crochet, chain one, and now we want to complete this little square right here. So there's our chain one, now we want to slip stitch into our eye. So we have a nice little square. Chain two, so we can keep the height of all of our mesh, and in this next one, we want to do our little sideways double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Chain one, turn your work, and do that again. It's exactly the same thing we did before. It's just a little bit shorter to do it is we only have a few stitches. We only have a few mesh squares to even make before we're at the edge of right here working into my third chain. See like that, how quick that was. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work, skip the first chain space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same spot that we slip stitched to, chain one, and then we want to slip stitch one more time up to the next level so we can make this little square chain two to keep height with our mesh and then to go sideways so we're going to double crochet into this stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that made our little square chain one this is exactly what we did before so i'm just going to finish this up on both sides and then i will show you how to do the center all right so this first part is all meshed in one two three four five rows just a little bit on this side. I'm going to finish off this orange on this side just the same way we did before. I'm just going to snip, oops, snip, and just pull it through because this will get all get worked in in a little bit. Now I'm going to do the middle and then I'll work over here so that we end being able to continue right here. So I suggest that you do the side and then you fill in the middle 
which we're going to do right now, and then work on this little side over here. So we're going to fasten on our yarn on a corner of the eye, chain one, and double crochet one, chain one, double crochet two, chain one, and now we want to slip stitch again into the other eye. So we end up with, just like we did here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three little mesh squares. Now we're just going to continue like we had over here. Chain two to keep our height for our mesh and do our double crochet. It's kind of sideways to make that square. Chain one. Turn your work so we can work the other direction. And do your mesh. When we get to this side again, we want to double crochet into the same place we fastened on. Chain one and slip stitch to the next level of our eye to finish this square. Chain two and do our double crochet. Sideways like that, double crochet. Chain one, turn your work again and continue your mesh all the way across. And there's my last one. I'm working in the same space there, chain one and slip stitch so we can make a square. There's our square chain two to keep the height for our mesh and do our double crochet sideways. One, two, chain one, turn your work again so we can work the other direction. See how easy peasy this is. When we get to this side, we're going to double crochet into that same space that already got used with orange before. Double crochet, chain one, and slip stitch so we can make this square, and chain two, and then we're going to do our little sideways double crochet again in that, in that first stitch. One, two, chain one, turn your work again, work all the way to the other side. Just like we've been doing before. There are no new stitches here. to the edge. We're going to double crochet into the same space that's already been used by orange. Chain one and slip stitch to close up this little square. So now the mesh is filled in between the eyes. And I'm going to snip this off. And just pull this up. 
and then we are going to start the other side. Just fill in this side exactly the way that you filled in this other side, the same way you did these other ones, and I'll meet you back right up in here. The important part to remember is to start at the triangle and work your way toward the edge so that we end up with our yarn staged in the right spot. And here's my last double crochet in a post, chain one, and double crochet into our third chain of our chain four. Hooray! Everything is filled in now. Got some ends to weave in, but that's okay. It works pretty fast. So we'll just move those out of the way, and now you can see you have a pumpkin face, just like this guy. Pumpkin face. And by starting over here, our orange is now staged to make the next rows of mesh. We're done with filling in all around the eyes, so now we want to do one, two, three, four, five. Right here again. One, two, three, four, five. More rows of mesh. Just the way that we did all the back side and everything else. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work and work all the way across. And here we are. There's the last one that I've got before my eye. I want to go into the first stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip one of these white stitches and go to the other glow in the dark stitch, double crochet, chain one and continue. Continue over to the other eye, you'll do the exact same thing. Alright, we made it over to the other eye. We're going to double crochet into the first white stitch, chain one, skip the middle white stitch, double crochet into the other white stitch. Chain one and continue. There's the last one that's in a post and we want to double crochet into our third chain just like usual. Double crochet. So there's our first row, total of five, so do four more mesh rows and I will meet you when I have my four mesh rows complete. Alright, and here is my last double crochet in a post, chain one, and then I want to double crochet into my third chain of my chain four. And voila. There's my five rows above the eyes. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So now we just need to do this finishing touch right here, which is exactly the same as what we started with. It's two rows of single crochet. So we're just going to chain one and turn our work. And we are going to single crochet into the top of every double crochet and in every chain space. And we should come back to our magic number of 51. So there's one, and then in the chain space. Two. Oopsie. There's the second double crochet and there's a chain space. So single crochet all the way across. Here we are at the end. There's 48. There's number 49 is going into the post. And remember we need to do one into our chain space. There's number 50. And then into our third chain is number 51. Single crochet in that third chain. There you go. There's our 51. So we're back into single crochets, just like this. A chain one, turn your work, and do another row. Here we go. Chain one. Turn your work and single crochet all 51 of those one more time. And I'll meet you at the end. 49 and 50. And my last stitch, 51. There we go. Now we're done with the top. Tippy top is done. Now let's turn this into a bag. Because right now we just have this long strip. Let's turn it into a bag. Pick the side that you want to be the inside. Pick the side that you want to be the outside. I choose right here is this that's being the outside. Because I like the way that the stitches looked on the bottom of the eyes. Right here, we're going to 
this was my right side and this is the wrong side for that row. So this is my outside. So we're going to fold this in half. So now here's our very first rows. We're right here. So we're going to match them up with the last two rows that we just did. I'm going to connect these along the side right here. Chain one so you have a nice starting point. And in these two rows right here, about one single crochet in each row through both sides. So single crochet once, and then move down to the next row of single crochets here, and single crochet one more time. There's your first two stitches. So now you're connected on this side. Now we're going to connect the rest of it with two single crochets in each of these mesh stitches. You got to go through both sides. So there's the front and the back right there. So we're going to go through this and through that other side and single crochet two times in each one. All the way down until you run out of mesh spaces. And here is my last mesh space. Gets two single crochets just like that. Now here's our bottom of our bag that was ten rows of single crochet. So we want to go through both sides with five single crochets because we're taking two sides of it. So just do that evenly. One. Two. Three. Four. And there's our last one. That's probably the trickiest spot is right here. And number five. Now that side is done. Complete. So we can finish this one off and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to snip and knot him and I'll end up pulling this in on the inside. And we want our stitches to show on the front just like we did here. So we want to turn our work and start at this end. So our stitches are on the top, on the front. Our single crochets are going to be the exact same way. Fold this in half and get five on there evenly. So I'm go through here, fasten on my yarn. five through both sides. Now we'll continue with two single crochets in each one of these squares all the way through both sides. All right, and here's my last set of mesh squares going through both sides, two single crochets in each. There we go. And now we have our last two rows, a single crochet through both sides each. One, And two. There we go. That side is done too and our stitches are all on the same side facing forward. So now we can finish this off also. And snip. Just pull that through, get it nice and tightened up. Now you can see that our stitches are showing towards the front instead of being this way. That's the right side is showing on the front of both. If this was heavy and full of candy and it was dragging down to the ground, that wouldn't be any fun. But this is long enough to be crossbody if you wanted it to be for a little person. And it doesn't stretch. So let's make a non-stretchy, even made out of cotton or something that really wants to stretch. This shouldn't stretch. This handle right here, this strap that I made, is starting out with a chain of 102. So you can see how long that is. You can make it as long or as short as you want. I'm going to make 12 right now just because I'm going to show you just a little bit because it's all the same, whatever length you want to make it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we want to double crochet into that back bump. We'll go to the second back bump. Turn over your chain, go to the second back bump, skip that one, go here, and double crochet. So I will have ten, you will have a hundred. So we're going to go in the back bump, each of these with a double crochet. And there's my last one. Just one second. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. There we go. And there's my last double crochet. And we want to do that one more time. So we're going to turn our work and double crochet all the way back down again. One, two, three. Right, so there's two rows of double crochet and we're going to chain one so we can work on our next part which is folding this in half. We're going to go through this side and through the other side with a single crochet. One for every stitch that you have. As long or as short as you want to make this strap it will work. Just one on each side. And close it with a single crochet. And there's the last one. Boom. And you see how it's not very stretchy. It might be a little bit stretchy back here, but not where we put these single crochets. It is not going to stretch out on you. Whereas if you did a whole long line of single crochets back and forth and back and forth, that's going to stretch like a rubber band. Now the last thing that I like to do on here just to make it easier for when we're attaching things, I like to turn this into an edge right down here a nice finished edge. So I'm going to chain one and I am going to evenly space six single crochets in here. However you want to. Oops. There's two, three, Number six. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just so it's a little bit more sturdy and has a nice finished edge right here. Just like I did on these. See I have I finished this off with six single crochets on each end. And here's the other side. So now we're going to attach it to our bag and we're pretty much done. You can see we're going to attach on the inside of our bag right here, which is on the corners. So really all you need to do is have a nice long tail on here so you can do a few more stitches to connect this all together. Same on this side. Don't need it to be very long. So I'm just going to cut this off right here. Snip! Because I don't need all of that. 
So we're going to attach right here, which is three on this side and three on this side. That's why I finished off this edge, both ends, with a nice, even six single crochets. So it's nice and sturdy, so we can connect it right here. And we're going to do that on the inside so that one doesn't show. So what I want to do here, so we're going to go on the inside, and we're going to use these first three stitches on this side, and the other three stitches on that side for a total of six. All right, so we're going to chain one so we can get ready for our next row. It's only going to be six, so it's easy. We're going to go through the th one, two, third one over, and through our through our strap and single crochet. Do that for all six of those. So this side is, has three single crochets on it. One, there's number two, and there's number three. And then we're going to go back to the other side of the seam. One, two, three. Go through the front side and then through the strap with a single crochet, through the front and then through the strap with a single crochet and through the front and the strap with single crochet number six. Now you can see that it looks finished and pretty on the outside and on the inside is where our stitches are. Easy peasy. So now you can finish this one off and do the same thing on the other side. See I told you you didn't need very much. I'm going to end up cutting some of this off and try not to get this twisted. That's the probably the trickiest part in the whole thing. All of this is just don't get it twisted. This is where I closed up my handle. I just want that side to be facing the front also. That way we'll keep it from being twisted. All right, so we're going to chain one so we can get ready to do these six stitches. Go through the front through the third stitch over, one, two, three, and single crochet, and do that same thing again. There's our second stitch on that side of the seam, and there's our third stitch, which is the one that's the closest to the seam, and now the other three are over here. number three. All right, so there's our other one is connected on the inside. There's our six stitches on the inside, nice and finished on the outside. Perfect. And we can just finish this, our little six stitches off. Finish that off. Weave in all these little ends, which is super easy to do. He's done, except for, oh, is no mouth. You do anything you want to there. You can make a big scary mouth, you can make little teeth mouth, you can make a big smiley face, you can do anything you want to. I just made a little smiley face on this guy. Do anything you want. You can make a big, a big circle and he's going oh, like that. You can make scary teeth. That's all up to you. That's more like an embroidery project right there. I just did a single crochet all the way around here when I thought it looked cute. Chain one, turn my work, and follow the same path one more time so it's a little bit raised. So that's what I decided to do because I thought he should be smiling. This one, maybe it'll be scary. I don't know. But that one is all up to you. There are no special rules because that one is all top crochet. Now all I have to do, because I've got all the ends woven in, he's all ready to rock except I need to send him under the sun or under a bright lamp for an hour or two so that his white yarn gets glowy and check him out in the dark in a little while. But 
He's done now, so thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.